everyone, I'm Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Be Spangled Beats on Etsy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a knotted cord bracelet using waxed linen cord. This bracelet is going to have a sliding knot so that your bracelet will be an adjustable size and fit almost any size wrist. So you'll find a complete list of supplies and tools needed for this project below the video. We're going to start with 24 inches of waxed linen cord and tie a knot as close as you can get to the end. Just a quick note, if you want to make a design that has more knots than this bracelet, then you're going to want to start with a longer piece of cord. Now before I start beading, I'm just going to apply a little bit of beeswax to the end of the cord. And then I want to pay attention to which direction the threads are already twisted. And I want to twist between my thumb and forefinger in that same direction. This is going to help prevent fraying. I'm going to start by sliding on a spacer bead. And then I'm going to make a knot. I'm going to use an awl which is simply a pointed steel tool that's mounted in a handle. And this is really the trick to getting your knots to land exactly where you want them to go. While the knot is let nice and loose, I'm going to slide in the awl towards the bottom and pull. Now the knot should slide easily along the cord. This is how you get it to move wherever you want it. So we're going to pull on the loose end of the cord until that knot gets nice and tight up against the bead and pull it really tight and then using your thumbnail kind of push up against that knot as you slide it off the awl. Give it one more little tug and that knot should be nice and secure right up against your bead. And that is going to be the dangling end of the bracelet so we're going to go about two inches in and this time we want to make a double knot. So to do that, you make a regular knot, and before you tighten it up, you're going to go back up through the knot again with the end, and you're going to have something that looks like this. Now, I usually check my placement with a ruler, and that way I don't waste any cord, and I can make the ends the same length on both sides. Now I'm going to string on three 12 millimeter beads, and then make a knot. I'm making all of the knots on the inside of the beading as single knots. Next is going to be one spacer bead, one 12 millimeter bead, and then one more spacer bead, and another knot. Now three more 12 millimeter beads, a spacer bead, and three more of the 12 millimeter beads. And a knot, a spacer bead, 12 millimeter bead, a spacer bead, and a knot. Now our last three 12 millimeter beads and a double knot to finish off the beadwork. Now I'm going about two inches out from that last double knot and I'm going to make a single knot. Again I use the ruler to check the placement and tighten up the knot against the awl. Add the last spacer bead and then the final knot to finish off the end of the bracelet. Snip the end about two to three millimeters away from the last knot using some really sharp scissors and then we're ready to finish off the bracelet. Now I'm going to go over this part pretty fast because I do have another video that is entirely dedicated to making this sliding knot. So if this gives you trouble, check out that video. 
using another piece of cord about six inches long. I'm going to make a loop on one end and leave a longer end to the right. And I'm going to hold both cords of the bracelet overlapping in my non-dominant hand and hold the loop between my thumb and forefinger with the other cords at the same time. I'm going to wrap the longer end of that cord around all of the pieces about three or four times. Wrapping away from the knot, so in this case I'm wrapping towards the right. I need to take that longer end and go back up through each loop of the coil that we just made, including the first loop. And then pull both ends tight to tighten up the knot. Trim the excess cord about two millimeters away on each side, being careful to only cut that extra piece of cord. Now you've got a knotted cord bracelet that's an adjustable size with a sliding knot. Be sure to check out my cord knotting tips and tricks playlist for more great tips on knotting cord, including a great way to finish up the ends of the bracelet that we just made without using glue.